Well, the floods are playing havoc with insurance companies. Shares in the major insurers were down today. Suncorp tumbling 2.5% as the stock market slid 36 points. They're also hitting our dollar. It's down a cent on the greenback. And Gary Youngbury joins us now from the city. Gary, is the weather going to stay kind for the clean-up? Well, uh, for the next 12 hours at least, Melissa, I should be saying hello to you and Lofty. I can see you at the top of Kangaroo Point Cliffs. And look, what a marvellous day it was over South East Queensland. One of the best days in quite some time. But as you generally look over the river, there's not a lot of signs. We've seen the worst flood in 37 years. But uh, still some minor flood peaks in the Brisbane City Gauge. That will ease with tidal fluctuations. And uh, the Bremer River this afternoon at Ipswich was still around 8 metres. Once again, expected to ease in the next few days days. A hot one tomorrow and it looks like it will breed a little bit of thunderstorm activity. Let's have a look at the temperatures today where it look it certainly was a very warm day. A top of 30 degrees recorded in the Gold Coast. 33 at Logan, Ipswich, 20 uh, the minimum Bayside with a high of 30. That was shared at Redcliffe. Just feeling the sea breeze. Brisbane 33 degrees as well. 32 at Caboolture and 29 on the Sunshine Coast. Look on the satellite chart today cloud over western Queensland produced rain and storms earlier today. The massive cloud over the nor northern tropics is a very active monsoon, causing heavy showers and storms. A little bit of low-level cloud in the southeast with a cool change brought the odd light shower. What's tomorrow? Well, a trough in the east will cause showers and storms to spread into southeast Queensland and eastern New South Wales late in the day. Clearing up for the southeast corner of the country, the monsoon will cause further heavy showers in the northern tropics. Now, the capitals and major centres. A few showers about for Sydney. Sunny for Alice Springs in 36. Sunny, dry and 34 in Perth. Thunderstorms will light up right across the tropics and quite a light show there this evening. Returning to Queensland, showers and storms to the far north, extending inland to Mount Isa and also to Longreach. From Mackay south to Gympie, the chance of those afternoon showers and thunderstorms, but a fine start to the day. Roma, 38 degrees. Now, in the southeastern corner, it'll be a fine start, a few showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon, a 60% chance of uh, storms northwest to northeasterly winds. Ipswich expecting 34 degrees. The Gold Coast a top of 30. Now Moreton Bay, southwest to northwesterlies, will give way to a northeaster. Offshore 1.2 metres, a 2.5 metre swell. Caution around all the beaches, off limits for the holidays at the moment, but great news for board riders. Brisbane, a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon or evening. Overnight 22 degrees, reaching a top of 33. The seven day outlook, thunderstorms likely Wednesday, possible storm Thursday. We could see a shower mainly on the coast for Friday, but Lofty and Melissa, any thunderstorms tomorrow probably help wash the roads and all the footpaths down anyway. Thank you, mate. Could be interesting here tomorrow night, couldn't it? Yeah. That is our news tonight. We'll continue our flood coverage with another special Queensland edition of the Today Show tomorrow morning from 5.30. And Layla is next with A Current Affair. Good night. Good night.